very common turn signal one. Uh, you'll see this on Toyotas, uh, some Lexus, Nissan is a big one that we sell this for. Um, and uh, again, this is uh, if you uh, if you work on those makes, you've definitely uh, needed this one before. Uh, the front lock is off. It'll look very familiar once we uh, install everything. Now again, of course, you're gonna get this from us with the wires already installed. Uh, this kind of shows you, number one, if you request for them to be loose or if you need to remove them off the one on the car now to reuse the pins and terminals. Uh, if you don't have to do a uh, splice of your wires, that's always a great thing, you know, good option to go with. Uh, so you would have to de-pin the factory wires out of that connector on the car that's damaged to install them into our connector. Of course, do that one at a time, so that way you can make sure that you uh, get your pin placement correctly. So what we'll do first, we'll install it, right? Now, even ours typically have the front lock on just a little bit, so we'll do that. I'm gonna put that in position. So this is how it would start. And kind of like some of the other videos I've shown you, you only have one direction you can go. So we'll try it upside down first. I feel tension. I know that it's incorrect. I'm gonna stop, bring it out, flip it over, slide in there. Uh, by way of full disclosure, <laughs> we use this uh, connector for uh, a, a test pulling on the wire, so it might be a little messed up on the inside, uh, but we were just kind of showing the strength before uh, on our terminals and wires and the way we crimp them. So if you haven't seen that video, check that out. Uh, again, try to install it incorrectly. I feel tension. Basically, like you're hitting stop, take it out, flip it around, and we'll put that in there. Um, and uh, last one, so I already know the direction it goes. Right there, kind of make sure my seals are seated nicely. You don't want those sticking out. Uh, sometimes when I put these in, these are easy, but some of them you kind of push against the seal as you're putting that in there to make sure it doesn't pull off of the terminal. From there, snap your face down. So this secondary lock, which is actually gonna put tension on the uh, lock that's built into the connector. So once it snaps in place, now those terminals aren't going anywhere. It's locked in, so what we'll do is we'll take these out. It's gonna be kinda of hard to see, but in the top here's a little small groove. I like to get under that groove and use the top of the connector, kinda of pull that up, and what we'll do is we'll just pull this all the way out, remove it, now we have access. When you look at the connector, uh, when you actually have it in hand, it's a little easier to see but you're typically gonna have kind of an area. So right here is uh, all sealed up plastic, right? I can't get anything right there. So on the top of it, if you look down, there's gonna be a little catch. So we're gonna slide down just like some of the other videos we've done. Slide down right on top of that, lift up on that catch. Again, I'm trying to do this backwards, so it's a little hard sometimes. Let me get in position here. And I did break my little screwdriver earlier since I was being a little rough with it. Just under that catch, Lift up a little bit, pull our wire out. These are really easy ones to do. We'll do that again. So this one, slide down. Right when I get to that catch, make sure my screwdriver's turned flat, lift up. And all I'm doing is just lift up just a little bit on that catch to get it to release. So again, screwdriver's flat, slide down in there, lift up on the catch, wires come right out. It's kind of a give and take, right? You don't want to pull on that too much because uh, you don't want to break the catch, uh, but you do have to go enough to where you're not damaging that plastic built-in catch whenever you remove the wire. Uh, so it's just kind of something you get a feel for. Always make sure your wires are kind of pushed forward before you try to release, because if, say, they were back, then they're putting tension on that catch, right? Because it's kind of pulling on it. So you make sure that it's back just a little bit, I mean, forward, excuse me, not back, and, uh, pull on that release, and then that wire will pop right out. Actually, let's see if I can show you here. So if I kind of pull on it first, so I'm gonna put tension on it, and then I'll try to release it. And I'm sure I can get it, but it definitely is gonna have more tension than it normally would. So I can kind of feel it, you probably can't see it, but it, it just kind of, you're having to pull harder on it. Some of them won't come out at all. Um, same deal actually, uh, if you're trying to remove a connector off the car, whenever you're pushing on that release tab, same deal, right? There's tension on it, so we're gonna kind of push forward, push down, and release it off the car. What happens is the rubber seal that's in there is pushing back on the connector, so it's putting tension on that catch, and you're not able to release it as easy. So you kind of push it forward to release the connector with your terminals, push them forward a little bit, 
hit that release and then they'll pop out. So you release this one again, just like that, they're out. Got our pieces, if we want to put it back together, you can actually leave that off. I did it the other way where I put it on first earlier partially. If you put it all the way on, you're really gonna fight to get it in there. So take that, take our wires, orient them the correct way. Locks right in place. Next one, locks in. Make sure I got this turned the correct way. Locks in place. We can take our front lock. Uh, again, with the, like a lot of things on these, you're only gonna be able to do it one way. We'll snap it right down. And then it's in position. And then that one is good to go. Back to back to technically again how we send it, uh, but if you were having to repin D-pan, then that's definitely something you would need to know. And that's it for Y210B3.